Sat Nam. I always begin a yoga kriya by chanting Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo and chant it three times. To begin our kriya, place your hands on your thighs and squish your shoulders all the way up to your ears, inhaling up, exhaling as you allow your shoulders to release and drop down, inhaling up and exhaling down, squeezing the blood out of your shoulders into the rest of your body, allowing good circulation in your shoulders, neck, and right into your brain. Keep up, keep up, don't stop. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel the blood as it moves back into the circulation. And now take a deep breath in and exhale out. Next, bring your hands onto your shins and we'll start spinal flex. Allow your chin to be still in a slight Jalunderbund neck lock. Inhaling out, chest elevates out, shoulders back, exhaling in. Chest goes concave, shoulders go forward. Inhaling out, exhaling in. With your next inhale, Become aware of the space around your digestive tract. With your next inhale, become aware of the space around your navel point, around your kidneys. With your next inhale, become aware of the space around your rib cage, your heart, your lungs. With your next inhale, become aware of the space around your clavicles, your shoulders, and your chin. Taking a deep breath in and exhale out. Now bring your hands onto your knees and slowly allow your head to fall forward, chin coming to the chest. Then as you inhale, bring right ear to right shoulder as your head slowly rolls around to the back. Then left ear, left shoulder as you slowly exhale. Allow your chin to slowly roll across your chest. Then slowly move all the way back, inhaling and exhaling. Spine is straight, shoulders are back. Rotate the head around three or four times and then change directions. You may hear some cracks or pops. This is absolutely normal and can be very relaxing. Allow the blood to circulate back into the body, into the brain, and out to the limbs. And meet me back at the center for a deep inhale and a cleansing exhale. 
With your next inhale, we'll start Sufi grinds. As you come forward, push onto your knees and relax your stomach. As you go back, hold on to your knees and slightly pull in on your stomach and your navel point. Inhaling as you go forward, exhaling as you go back, holding on to your knees as you go back, pulling in on your navel, pushing down on your knees as you come forward, relaxing your stomach. As you get a tightening and a releasing of the digestive tract, which helps with indigestion, detoxing, lower back pain, sciatic pain, and good circulations to the thighs and feet. five or six times, then change directions. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And taking a deep breath in at the center and slowly, slowly exhale out. Now bring your legs out to the side, legs nice and straight. With your first and second finger, hold on to your big toe. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Allow your belly button to come down first, then your chest and last your head. Inhaling up, exhaling down. If you can, touch your forehead to the ground. If you can't, the most important thing is that your belly button is leading first, then your chest, and last your head. Inhaling up, exhaling out, through the nose. Inhaling and exhaling. Going as fast or as slow as feels comfortable for you. More advanced students will go a little faster. And if you're new to yoga, go slower at your own pace and do what feels comfortable to you. Be conscious of your knees. If you have a knee injury, allow a slight bend in your knees. Do not lock them. If your knees are nice and strong, you can keep them straight. Inhaling up and exhaling down through the nose. And take a beautiful deep breath in. And exhale out as you bring your legs together. with legs straight out in front. Spine is straight. You're gonna lead first with your belly button, then your chest, and last your head. As you take your pointer and middle fingers, wrap it around your big toe. Take your thumb and squeeze onto your toenail as you inhale up and exhale down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. If you can, bring your forehead all the way to your knees. Inhaling up, exhaling down. 
You can go as slow or as fast as you wish to go. Inhaling completely as the spine is straight, exhaling as it comes down, allowing your thighs to gently push against your liver and your stomach, helping to detox. Working on the life nerve that goes from your heel all the way to your sits bones. Inhaling and exhaling. Find a nice rhythm as you inhale and exhale. Allowing the head to go up and down. Gently massaging the gray matter in the brain. As you push onto the large toenail, stimulating the pituitary gland. And take a deep breath in. And a cleansing breath out. Ah. And now begin to slowly pump your stomach as your chin stays straight neck in Jalunder bun neck lock. Start to pump your belly in and out using breath of fire. Feel the stomach squeezing and releasing, using the muscles, squeeze in the digestive tract, the stomach, the liver. Squeeze and release as you release toxins. Allow them to flush through back into the system. Still holding on to the toes, your thumb pushing onto the big toenail. If you can't hold on to your toes, hold on to your ankles or your knees. Keep up, breathing in and out, squeezing the stomach, squeezing the digestive tract. Squeeze and release. And a deep breath in. And a cleansing breath out. Now bring your legs together back into easy pose. Curl your fingers down onto the mound of logic, pushing your thumb straight out. Bring your arms up to 60 degrees. Start breath of fire, in and out through the nose in equal parts. Spine is straight, slight neck lock. Arms at 60 degrees. Inhaling and exhaling. Through the nose, Focusing your eyes on your third eye into Ego Eradicator. And inhale, spread your fingers, pull mole bond, squeeze the body, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze.
And as you exhale, slowly bring your thumbs together above your head without looking. Feel where the thumbs will meet as they slowly come together like a magnet, finding each other naturally. As soon as they touch, exhale, release your hands, spread your fingertips, and slowly arc. Next, come onto your knees and bring your hands into fists or into puckers. Then come lying onto your stomach with your hands and fists. Place the fists under the navel point at the hernia area, just inside the hip bones. Lift the legs as high as possible. With bringing your knees slightly above the ground and the balance going on your thighs, your hips, and your stomach. Place the chin on the ground and begin breathing long and deep. Focus on the breath. Squeezing your thighs, focusing on your hips, raising your legs as high up as you can. Focus on your breath, feeling the stomach detoxing, feeling the navel point as it comes into balance in the center, feeling the pulse. And a deep breath, inhale and exhale and bring your legs down. And slowly come back up onto your knees, moving mindfully. Once on your knees, on your heels, place your fingertips of both hands on the navel point and press in. Lean forward, place the head on the ground, and begin breath of fire. Inhale and exhale completely. Equal parts, breath of fire. One more minute to go, keep up, keep up, keep up. Inhale and exhale completely, applying Mool Bund. Remain in the same position and begin long, deep breathing, inhaling through the nostrils long and slow. Then exhale with a snake breath out through the teeth with the tongue pressed against the teeth to make the hissing noise. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Press the navel with the fingertips and apply mold bund. 
for the exhale. On the inhale, release Mulbund, inhaling through the nose. As you exhale, apply Mulbund and begin the hissing noise through the mouth. Continue. This is for three minutes. Inhaling and exhaling. Each time applying Mulbund on the exhale. One more minute to go, keep up, focus on the breath. And take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly come seated up. Coming on to our knees for Sat Kriya. To get into Sat Kriya, stretch your arms out. Slowly bringing your hands together, interlacing your fingers. Then bringing out your pointer finger index finger. Other fingers will remain interlaced with the thumbs crossed. Relaxing your shoulders and slowly raising your arms up overhead, bringing the sides of your arms as close to your ears as possible, giving them a nice squeeze. The mantra Sat S-A-T, Nam, N-A-M, will be chanted rhythmically. Chant the Sat from the navel point and the solar plexus and pull in on the umbilicus all the way towards the spine. On Nam, relax the belly muscles and exhaling out. Sat, S-A-T, is actually pronounced S-U-T, so it sounds like Sat and then Nam. N A M. Sut Nam. Sut Nam. Sut Nam. Sut Nam. You can hear the squeezing up when saying Sut as the stomach pulls in towards the back of the spine. And as Nam is pronounced, everything relax out. The shoulders come down, the stomach relaxes.
Keep up, one more minute to go. Keep up, keep up. And inhale, squeeze, apply mold bond. Squeezing all the way up, moving the energy all the way up, out the spine, through the fingertips, out into the universe. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Cannon fire out. <laughs> inhale again. Squeeze all the energy. Squeeze it right up, out the forehead. And slowly, slowly exhale as you bring your hands down by your sides. Exhaling out to your full capacity. Slowly come lying onto your back for deep relaxation. If you have a shawl, place it on top of your body. Laying down and totally relaxing. Slowly start to come back, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists. When you're ready, rub the palms of your hands together and the soles of your feet. Bring your knees into your chest and slowly rock from side to side and up and down. 
and come into easy pose and choose a meditation to accompany this Kriya. <laughs> 